to, we made it <laughs> to through our first night and it was so warm and cozy and awesome. But now it's time for breakfast. So I'm gonna show you what we're having. So Matt's got the, what we call heavy set breakfast, which is just an egg, potatoes, and two pieces of toast. And I just have what the simple set, which is just an egg and toast. And we have some tea and coffee. And then for the toast, there was some butter in here. There's some jam as an option. And there's also some um, local honey. So I did one piece of bread with butter and jam and one with butter and honey. So um, sorry for showing you half eaten food. But the group here that's just leaving, you can see this tea room is Looks like a ski lodge with all the bare wood. It's just beautiful. Reminds us of Timberline Lodge in Oregon. This little room and it's got a little stove in the middle where they were heating and boiling their water. Pretty sure that's yak dung burning stove. So such a nice place to have breakfast. I can't believe we thought that this would be a very different experience and it's so luxurious. So who knows what we have ahead of us though. So we've gotten to our first ascension fish of the morning over the Milky River. And this is also still Pakting, but look what's above it. It's a beautiful Buddhist monastery overlooking this part of the town. Amazing. I'm not sure I'd wanna be on this bridge with donkeys and things. <laughs> it's not scary or anything. It's not scary. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here comes other people. Awesome. They don't look scared. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> yeah, do we want to know what happened here? Did someone go through? Why is there a wood patch? Don't want to know. Don't want to know. Keeping going. Keeping going on the bouncy bridge. There's a beautiful waterfall along the way. It's really high. Oh, I better hurry up. They're waiting for me. Hello dog, enjoying the sunshine. Kali is dog. I just learned what is your name, which is the polite form is Tapayenko Namkeho. I think I got that right. I wrote it down in my phone notes so I can practice it later. Tapayenko Namkeho. Here we go. We're about 10 kilometers from Namche. We've been hiking for, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour. Oh, look at that. There's a mountain coming into view. What mountain is that, Matt? Namche. Namserku. 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 Yep. Namserku. Starting to come out a little bit more. Namserku. Looking over the Milky River. Here's our trail. Here's our trusty guide. Runji. So cool. Matt's always making friends. It's a good thing. I think that our guide though wants to keep moving. <laughs> but it's Matt likes to take pictures and chat. So 
It's fine. Okay, this is such a beautiful hike. Check out this waterfall behind me. Can you believe that? Everything is just so beautiful in Nepal. I can't believe that. path sort of alternates between natural areas and going through these small villages, sometimes just a few houses, sometimes many. Wow. These boulders where they've carved in the Buddhist mantras are shops. There's carrots. <laughs> Katsar Ayo means the Katsar donkeys are coming. <sighs> Those donkeys, look where they live. Can you believe that? Dropping it. This is so fun. I totally love it. Nothing like hiking where you can stop at a tea house and have a tea break. We lived in Africa for two years. Mm -hmm. We tried to learn the language there. Shamali. Cheers. So, Matt's having so a to... masala chai. <laughs> and the lady said that the milk in it is from her own small cow that's in the back. <laughs> so cool. Everest Base Camp. Maybe Kumbu Icefall somewhere in here. What's a face? South Cole, Hillary Step Summit, Fall in the Turn. <laughs> so there's Everest. I think 
base camp must be right down there somewhere. And we're gonna be coming up this valley like so to get there. So we just entered the National Park. I didn't take out my camera because there were some military police that checked all our bags and I don't like to make military police mad as a general rule by filming them. So here we are, big descent. Look at this huge carving on this rock face. But they opened all our bags and checked them. Um, I think they were probably looking for drones there's signs everywhere saying not to fly drones without a permit. So, luckily Matt did not bring his drone because we knew that. So we were good to go. Yeah. <laughs> you can see all the carvings on that cliff behind that. Oh, no biggie, another bridge. At least there's a beautiful waterfall to distract us from the fact that we're like now a thousand feet in the air. So yeah, there's that. Oh my God, it's terrifying. So scary. Got my arms out for balance. Ah! This is what terrified looks like. Yep, on the bridge. The main thing is not to look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. We're gonna be fine. Wow, it's beautiful. It's just too bad, it's so scary. <laughs> All right, we just stopped for lunch. We just entered the National Park a little while ago. Matt's got mixed fried noodles that has what vegetables and cheese. Is there meat in there? Mm -hmm. Egg. I think there's egg. And then I have mixed fried potatoes. <laughs> so we are currently at the beautiful Riverview Terrace restaurant. And if you look carefully, there's a little waterfall way up there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right in the middle of the screen. All right. Time to eat. Yum. So this is the bridge that we just crossed. And now there's donkeys crossing it. So according to our guide, they are here the first time, but then they get used to it. Oh. I've done maybe six or seven of these and I'm still not used to it. <laughs> Brave donkey. Okay, we are on day two. We just had lunch and now we've made it to this double suspension bridge. Let me show you. Yeah, that is so high. So we're gonna be climbing up a bunch of steps. I guess you must cross over and then cross back. I don't really know why there are two. But they are really, really high. So yeah, super excited about that. Okay, we're now at the top of the higher suspension bridge. I'm a little scared to step out. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna hold on to step down. Oh my gosh, this is so high. Just don't look down, Matt. It's so bouncy because there's like 15 people on it. Okay, I got my left arm out like for balance. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just not gonna look down because I don't wanna look down. I'm gonna let you look down. I'm not looking down. <laughs> You know, you look to the side. Maybe I'll watch this back later. Oh look, Ranji is just chilling in the middle. No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna keep moving. We're 
we're not gonna look down. This is actually so beautiful. I'm not looking down. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy how high we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, we're almost to the other side. Lots of people praying to cross this safely. Look at all these prayer flags. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. You know what's great is we have to cross this again on the way back. Oh my gosh, what line is that? All the same one from before? New one. Beautiful. Probably could have waited and seen that though on the other side. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Survived. Survived. Oh my gosh. Dad is still in the middle of the bridge. He's so crazy. Oh my gosh, he's so brave. He's looking down. I did not look down at all. I couldn't. I just looked up. I just followed you. Then you stopped and I was like, oh no, no, no. No stopping. <laughs> it's beautiful with all of the prayer flags. What are the white ones? Are those also prayer flags? This also we call the kata. Kata? Yeah. What is that? That's the from Turkmen. They put and like this and they put lock. Okay. I won't breathe out until you step to safety. That one is very high. <laughs> I can't believe you looked over the edge. I would never. <laughs> Oh, here's some wild goats crossing the path. So because we're in a national park, they're protected, so no one is allowed to hunt them. So we've come across the National Bird of Nepal. It's beautiful. So we had a long slog up a lot of steps, but we've made it to Namche, Namche Bazaar. And totally worth it. Let me take it this way. Don't want to miss that peak. Look at this tucked into the hillside. And then there's this whole valley. Sun up above these high mountains. And I think we're still going up. Must to that another part of the village. Alright, here's the upper part of the village. This is kind of like the Sherpa's capital city. It is stunning. There's definitely some suffering to get here, but it's totally worth it. Here's where the laundry is done. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Built into this little hillside here. The kids are playing. <laughs> okay, so we just made it to our second tea house. Our stuff is waiting in our room again. And look at that view. The sun just set over those mountains. Wow. We even have a private bathroom with a shower. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I wonder if that's hot water. This is so clean. Highly recommend. This is amazing. We get to stay here for two nights. Today was a pretty tough uphill, and then tomorrow is an acclimatization day, so we'll just do like a hike, I think up to the top of this ridge line and back, and just explore the town a little bit. But basically acclimatized to the higher elevation. 